Getting ready for the show. Getting ready for the show. Looking good, fatty. Got a camera installed in the mirror in my dressing room. I didn't really, because you can tell it's not my dressing room. People. But I was, you know, I was trying a conceptual idea that I would pretend <laughs> that there was a camera in the. I would pretend I had a dressing room, and and that there was a camera in it, and then, you know, you'd be like, oh, we can see him, and he doesn't know. Oh, that's hilarious. And, and then you'd then you'd like me, and I'd get nominated for an Emmy, and my life wouldn't suck. <laughs> but none of that happened, did it? But you know what? I won't let it make me bitter. <laughs> Do you know why? Cut eyes. I've got a fabulous penis. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a, it's a fossil, <laughs> which I collect. It's not actually mine. Is there any way I could save this from the sensor? No. no. Well, what I beeped out there, you know, you'll just have to stay tuned because my guess is I will say it during the show because it's Friday night and we're going to be back with Cal Penn and the Gabe Dixon Band. Join us in a minute. I think that's more than enough. I think they realize you are, in fact, a paid audience. No, no, I don't want you to cheer too much. You'll make last night's audience look bad. And I can do that on my own. It's a great day for America, everybody. Why did you do it in that French accent, Greg? I don't know why I'm medicated! <laughs> no, it is a great day for America. You know why? It's Friday, of course! Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Friday! Friday, of course, which takes its name from the Roman god Fry. Laughing <laughs> <laughs> uncertainly. Never went to college either. Maybe it's true. <laughs> Do you know whose birthday it is today? I'm very excited. Raquel Welsh. Yep, Raquel Welsh's birthday. Yep, she... I know. She, it's her birthday. I won't say what age she is, 68, but she's been here. <laughs> she's been here, and she is smoking. So, happy birthday, Raquel. And you know who else uh, uh, is birthday today? Uh, Bob Newhart. I know. Oh. <laughs> Raquel Welsh, Bob Newhart. Very different, of course. One I spent my entire youth masturbating to. <laughs> And the other one's Raquel Welsh. Now, there's some... I want to... I wanna... <laughs> uh -huh. Say what you... Say what you like. Say what you like. Both shows. Early Bob Newhart show, second Bob Newhart show. That is one smoking hot funny man. <laughs> Call me Bob. Uh, there's some rumours on the internet, celebrity internet sites, that Sharon Stone is uh, dating a man less than half her age. Now, I know what you're thinking, but it's not me. I... <laughs> Take that, internet rumour mill. With your <laughs> stories about who I go out with. We can cut that out. I, uh, Friday, of course, it's a big movie day today. Uh, but the, the summer's over. So every movie that's released from now on until the end of the year will be a serious Oscar contender or a piece of crap. <laughs> now, there's only one movie opening today, which is, of course, uh, Nicolas Cage in Bangkok Dangerous. 
I smell Oscar. <laughs> I actually, I think I, I saw a movie called Bangkok Dangerous in a hotel room. I rented it accidentally. Uh, <laughs> The, the, the one I saw wasn't that good. There was too much bang and not a lot. Well, never mind. I... <laughs> Let it go, the center will wake up. <laughs> if you must laugh at dirtiness, keep it in. <laughs> Suppress it. Quietly titter. <laughs> oh, well, Craig, that was rude. <laughs> Yes, it was. <laughs> Bangkok, of course, is the capital of Thailand. Do we have a map of Thailand? Do show people where is there Thailand? There's Narnia right there to get the Gulf of Bora. South Dakota. What's the name of that town, that little town down in the corner there? Just uh, that little island. What's that? I can... Uh, what's the name of that town? Ah, oh, forget it. I am... Um, Thailand is actually in chaos right now. The government may be overthrown. It's a desperate, unstable land. It's dominated by military strongmen. Desperate, unstable, dominated by strong men. Remind you of anyone? <laughs> You'll get your money. <laughs> Bangkok Dangerous. It's an odd sounding name for a movie. It sounds to me like uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger being grilled on foreign policy. Bangkok Dangerous. <laughs> Gallivon, you're safe. <laughs> Food good, fire bad. <laughs> The new Bangkok Dangerous movie is actually a remake of a film that was uh, made in Thailand, an original, you know, Taiwanese... Uh, Taiwanese? That, no, that's Taiwan. <laughs> Thailandian. Uh, Thailandarian? Thai, 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 of course! Oh, for God's sake, Craig! <laughs> An original Thai... I am so sorry to the Thai cinema community. The original Thai movie, I think it was a Thai movie, uh, certainly it was, you know, it was made in Asia, and it was a uh, Thailand, uh, it was a movie called Bangkok Dangerous, it was called Bangkok Dangerous, but it was about a deaf hitman. But when they did the Hollywood remake, they changed it, and in the Hollywood version, he's not deaf. <laughs> he's got perfectly good hearing. <laughs> but he has a worse disability, he has Nicolas Cage's hair. <laughs> now listen, now listen. I like Nicolas Cage. I do. I'm an admirer of Nicolas Cage. But someone... Nicolas Cage? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Who's Nicolas Cage? Well, he's a little-known actor. He sounds a bit like Nicolas Cage, but Nicolas Cage... Oh, you should have seen his Richard III. It's very good. <laughs> so Nicolas Cage... No, Nicolas Cage. I like him, but someone needs to tell him that he'll never make a better movie than Ghost Rider. That was a great movie. In that movie, he played a skeleton on fire. And he nailed it. I cannot believe he did not win an Oscar for that skeleton on fire movie. You know what he won the Oscar for? Leaving Las Vegas. I hated that movie. And I'm a drunk. And I did. In that movie, he played a fall down drunk. And the movie was crap. Now, listen, I'm an alcoholic. I've been drunk all over the world. This movie did not show the hilarious, joyful side of alcoholism. <laughs> it was all miserable. Come on! I'm angry, or am I? I don't know! <laughs> I didn't think it was a realistic portrayal of alcoholism, is what I'm saying. I think that Skeleton on Fire movie was more realistic. <laughs> Actually, that's what I was like when I was drinking. I was like, oh! Ah! Ah! Ask anybody. But I have to say, I want to underline this. I have nothing against Nicolas Cage at all. I like Nicolas Cage. I admire him. Anyone who's an Elvis fan is okay by me. And he collects Elvis memorabilia. I know. I think that... I think that's why he married Lisa Marie Presley. And now I have the ultimate Elvis collectible. He probably kept her in a little box. <laughs> no, put holes in the top so she could be. That's probably why they get divorced. Not kidding. You know. If Elvis ever met Nicolas Cage, you know, he'd eat him alive. Not because he wouldn't like him, just because he was hungry, you know. <laughs> hey, Nick, cover yourself in peanut butter, all right? Do you know why I've always thought it would be great to be married to Lisa Marie Presley? Because she was married to Michael Jackson. So nothing you do is going to be crazy to Lisa Marie Presley. <laughs> Like, if you say, uh, honey, I'm spending the night in the oxygen chamber with a chimpanzee and the kid from Home Alone, she'd be like, okay, hon. Have a nice...
nice time. Don't forget your elephant man bones. <laughs> All right, we'll take a break. We'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to the Big Friday Night Show, uh, where we're celebrating the release of Bangkok Dangerous. <laughs> I love saying Bangkok. It's, you know, it is. It's one of the great comedy town names. There's uh, Bangkok, Nantucket, Pahrump, Intercourse, Pennsylvania. <laughs> and my favourite, of course, is Lake Titicaca. <laughs> There's nothing I enjoy more than taking the motorboat to Lake Titicaca. <laughs> Did he just say it? Yes. You know, Bangkok is famous for the she-males and the weird sex shows, but there's also a side to it that's not so nice. So I think you should know that. <laughs> All right, I, I can't be yakking to you about Bangkok, much as I'd love to. I, I, I gotta get moving on. Do we have time for emails tonight, do we? Yes, it's Oh, email. I love this one. Email, email time again. Put down your ganja, it's time to check the, the mail. mail. Yeah, yeah, man. Do ba da 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 We often, uh, play that, that email jingle on a Friday night because a lot of the, the, the kids, uh, you, know, uh, the, you know, a lot of the folks on a Friday night enjoy the herbal cigarettes when they watch the show. <laughs> Dude, did he just say us? Yes, I did. <laughs> and just for you... The whole world could be on one of these. <laughs> it's not, but it could be. All right, uh, we got to get through the emails. I can't be talking to stoners all night. <laughs> like a family reunion. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is from Zoe in St. Cloud, Minnesota. I've never been to uh, uh, St. Cloud. I've heard it's fantastic. Uh, much, it's America's Bangkok, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> apparently not. No, uh, I knew that. Anyway, uh, uh, Zoe says, Dear Craig, where is the weirdest place you've ever fallen asleep? email is... Uh... <laughs> I don't know what the weirdest face I've, uh, place I've fallen asleep. Probably uh, standing up. Uh, I fell asleep standing up once when I was... Um... <laughs> I didn't, I've never fallen asleep standing up. Well, I've, I've fallen asleep standing up lying down. Like, you know when... Because <laughs> I do much the same thing standing up as I do lying down. <laughs> if you play your cards right. Uh... <laughs> All right, this is from... <laughs> Look, if it's any consolation to you, I have no idea what the f I am talking about either. <laughs> All right? Well, I'm cussing a lot these days. What is that? You know what I think? I think I need to go to anger management. <laughs> All right, uh, this is from Evan in Alberta, Canada. Um, Canada is like... Uh, if, if, if I imagine America was France, then uh, Canada would be like Belgium. I think I insulted everybody in both America, Canada, Belgium, and France. Right there. Now, except the French are always insulted. They're like, what? How dare you? <laughs> anyway, uh, Evan says, hey, Craig, do you like Led Zeppelin or uh, been to a live show of theirs? I've never been to a live show of Led Zeppelin, but I do enjoy their music incredibly much. <laughs> Except, is that, what's that song where everybody thinks that the Robert Plant's singing, with a purple umbrella and a 50 cent at... The, it's not, he's not singing that, is he? 
No, it's like the it's like that other song, the uh, um, uh, the Madonna song, uh, Young the 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 San Pedro or something. Last night I dreamt of San Pedro. There's a, a line in that song. I swear, if you listen to that song, hi or not, if you listen to that song, <laughs> it uh, it sounds exactly like she's singing. Young girl with eyes like potatoes. <laughs> it really does. It really does. <laughs> dude, dude, put it on. Uh. Um, this is from Marcel. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, this is from Marcel in Switzerland. Uh, he says, Dear Craig, uh, were you ever in Switzerland, and did you like our cheese and chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> I like underneath where he says, greets from Switzerland, Marcel. <laughs> well, greets to you, Marcel. <laughs> I have been in Switzerland, but only... Uh, I'm sorry, I have to scratch my leg a little bit there. Do you ever sometimes get a rogue itch, you don't know what it is? It's like, why would I be itchy there? <laughs> There, of all places, like there, there's nothing's happened there in quite some time. <laughs> Why now? Why an itch there? It's like it's not, I haven't been doing anything, I haven't been operating machinery, there's been no Hessian straps. <laughs> oh, well, wait a minute. Yeah, that, that. <laughs> problem solved. <laughs> um, no, I have been in Switzerland. I was only in Switzerland for about an hour. I was in a plane going from London to the Seychelles, which is off the, uh, the, coast of, the east coast of Africa. Don't ask. You know, and, <laughs> and I traveled by Air Seychelles, so they have one plane. And it goes from, uh, I think they probably have more than one plane, but they got one big plane. And it goes from London and it has to refuel in Zurich. Uh, which is in Switzerland, and then move on. So that's the only thing I've done. But they opened up the back of the plane and I had to look out, you know. <laughs> Looked lovely. <laughs> Very nice. And as I opened it, this is the weirdest thing, because I was on this plane and the jet engines are blaring, you know, they're and a lot of airport noise, but I'm sure that I heard just off in the distance, in the Swiss Alps, I heard the sound. Ricola. <laughs> that's weird, eh? We'll be right back, everybody. if you pretend to be stoned long enough, you start to feel kind of stoned. <laughs> Which I feel terrible about, because it means I spent years and years and a lot of money wasted on drugs. <laughs> like I said, I just pretended to be stoned and voila! <laughs> By the way, if you don't speak French, voila means well, well. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but it is true. Prince Charles, not only the Prince of Wales in the UK, he's also the king of late night television in Britain. Take a look at this clip from Prince Charles's late night show. Look at this. Live from Buckingham Palace, it's the rather late program with Prince Charles. Brought to you by the British Football Society, because everybody loves to play with balls. Ladies and gentlemen, the king of late night. Well, hey, welcome, welcome to London, welcome to the Rather Late Programme, I'm your host, TV's Prince Charles. <laughs> hey, guess what? Yesterday I heard that the American presidential candidate, John McCain, had picked a feminine running mate with very little experience in actually governing. I assumed it was me. Oh! <laughs> oodly doodly do! <laughs> I'm, try I'm trying out a new catchphrase. Oodly doodly do. <laughs> hey, guess what? 
Tropical storm Gustav has left the Gulf Coast soaking wet but undamaged. I once knew a Gustav that left me much the same way. <laughs> Oodly doodly doo. <laughs> you know, on this, uh, this, uh, this, the very day in 1666, the Great Fire of London broke out. And we've been lucky since then. The only thing that has been flaming in London is the parties at Elton John's house. Ah ha ha! Oodly doo! Let's descend on the throne, shall we? <laughs> Ho, ho, ho! doodly do Oodly doodly do <laughs> Many people write to me and telephone me and email and fax and call me and they say, what's the name of the adorable guard next to you? <laughs> I shall tell you his name. Gustav. <laughs> You bastard! Oodly doodly do! <laughs> All right, do we have time for a parchment? Oh, there you go. Of course. It's time for a parchment. <laughs> wow, I didn't know we had one of those. <laughs> All right, this is uh, from uh, Mr. Taylor Birmingham in Cornwall. Mr. Rado, uh, it's from some geezer. Anyway, he. Uh, <laughs> He writes, Dear Prince Charles, my girlfriend just gave me something called a toothbrush. How does it work? <laughs> I'm afraid I've absolutely no idea. <laughs> Perhaps you could trade it in for something, you know, someone needs, like a polo mallet or a manservant. Sheep of time. Join me next week when my guest will be the toughest 50 year old muscle man in England. Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. I'm sorry, my tie seems to have a mind of its own tonight. It's like, uh, sometimes it goes like this, <laughs> and then sometimes it's like this. <laughs> oh, you don't have to be mad to work here, but it helps. Uh... <laughs> don't you hate people that have got that sign up? You don't have to be mad to work here, but it helps. Oh, shut up. <laughs> If you've got that sign up, take it down. <laughs> Unless you work in the post office. Now, look, uh, see what I did? I did something that wasn't funny. <laughs> it's a kind of continuity thing I'm putting together for this whole show. <laughs> if they hear laughter, they'll be confused. <laughs> My first guest is on uh, oh, House. It's the, the House show, which is on Fox. But it's really good. <laughs> Take a look at this. We can't do a CT scan. Why not? We don't need a CT scan. We don't need House. Stop grinning and talk. One of the routine pre-procedure tests was positive. Which one? The one that, if it's positive, would explain a hormone imbalance that could screw with heart rate and blood flow. Guess she does have a life beyond her career. Everybody, come back. Hello, Cal. Hello, sir. How are you? You know, I'm actually all right. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not good. amazing. No, I'm not amazing, actually. I, you, haven't you seen the show? No, I don't no, know. No. The first, first no, segment a... was pretty good. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just, nah. No? Nah, not much. Right. Yeah. 
No, I'm all right. How are you doing? Yeah, uh, you know. I'm yeah, all right. really? Uh, yeah, why? No, I'm just kidding. Really? Yeah. Are you fabulous? No, no, no. But you know, it's a it's a good day. It is. It's a great it's a day. You've got your little badge on there. I you do. Know? I do. Which and uh, that was uh, you know more of a since you just got your citizenship. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. What's like on a, your little American flag there, though? What's that? There's a little. little uh, it's a little Secret Service logo. It was a oh. gift from a from a friend who works for them. So can you tell he, me any more or I not? Can't, really? I would no. have to <laughs> take you into a very small room and. You know, well, you can do, do that things. anyway. <laughs> Take me into a small uh, room and do things. No, it was, a, it was a good luck thing, and I since you you got your citizenship recently. I oh yeah, it I did. It was a good luck thing for the show. Oh. <laughs> well, it's it's clearly how's working. It, how's it going so far? Yeah. <laughs> good. Should I come back out and no, try this no, again? No, no, no. Sure. Stay. You're here now. You don't want to waste all, right. all those sure. calories going yeah. in and out like that. Yeah. Now. Um, how, how how was the Denver? Because you, you you worked for Obama. You were telling me about that the last time you were here. You, yeah, yeah. You you were uh, working for the Democrats in their campaign. It was it was it was interesting. I uh, I had the chance to work on the floor as a political whip. So I I put on a Hello. pretty. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Uh, put on a, a pretty sweet looking or uh, yellow vest and uh -huh. uh, you know you kind of make sure that things are going okay. What do you mean, make sure things are going okay? Well, what does that actually mean? Sort of like the pin. I can only tell you so much. All oh, right, yeah, yeah, no, that's fair enough. Now, what do you make then if you're involved in the politics? What do you make of this Sarah Palin thing? Everybody's going all crazy about it. What do you do? You know anything about this? One? I, I, not really. No, uh, you know. Well, well I, you're like I, the rest of us then, I, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've been volunteering for the other guy, so right. That's where so you most have of nothing mind. nice to say about Sorry. this woman at all. Well, I think you know, it, honestly, I, I'm an independent, so I've. Uh, You're an independent I who am. works for Barack Obama right and now, the Democratic yes. Party. Yes. Yeah. All right. But the the reason the reason I signed up to volunteer was precisely because in the past I feel like we've always been told that uh, you know everything's so cynical. We've been told we can't really make a difference, and here's a guy who's actually willing to step it up and include everyone and challenge us. And I figured, you know, are you a very political animal? Are you, are, do you watch the C-SPAN all the time? I, and all that I stuff? do, admittedly, and I get made fun of uh, for it a lot. By who? Uh, you know, friends. Supposedly, the CNN is the place to be, but uh, no, I'm not so sure I, no? about the CNN I these like days. I like Anderson Cooper. I think he's adorable, but Larry <laughs> King. <laughs> I like Larry King. I actually like Larry King uh, too. You know what? I, I I do. I sometimes do an a, uh, an impression of Larry King on the show. It's nothing like him. It's just a cruel well, jibe. Well, we'll and um. And I saw him at the White House Correspondents' Dinner, oh, right. right? Yeah. And he came over to me. He, he didn't talk to me or anything, but I was on the, the dais next to the president, and I'm like, oh, the president. And Larry King was in the crowd, and he came over, and he went, mm. <laughs> and I went it's, it's done with love, Larry. And he went, mm. Have you done the show? Uh, Larry King show? Yeah. No. Oh, no, no. I, I don't think it's likely anytime <laughs> soon, either. <laughs> Have you done it? Uh, I have once. He, is he terribly incontinent? I've heard. <laughs> oh, no, sorry, not incontinent. I didn't mean incontinent. You meant I meant, I meant farty. Uh, far, uh, what's the word? The medical word for farty? Uh, f uh, flatulent, flatulent, flatulent. Flatulent. Yeah. Is he terribly uh, flatulent? Not that I know of. I did it. I did it uh, via satellite. So I. <laughs> I'm is the that the reason person. you did it via satellite? Because you cared that he was uh, No, no, no. But but perhaps if that's true, then I should continue to do well, it. Well, I heard a rumor that, that Larry King was farty. But to be fair, uh -huh. I've heard a lot of rumors that are not true about myself, too. Now, but, I am farty. Yeah, I freely admit. Yeah. But, <laughs> sorry. The, there you go. There was one right there. But I. But I. Uh, oh. No, no, no. <laughs> But um, but I, I don't know. You hear so many rumors. Do you ever hear anything like that about yourself on the internet? You're farty. You're crazy. You're dating Sharon Stone. What? Anything of these things? Thankfully, no. I guess I'm I'm pretty boring. Uh, really? I get. I mean, what? It, no, you, because uh, you're very popular with the Harold and Kumar, the you know the the college crowd. They're on the blogs all the time. What have you them. heard? I can I can refute you, it. If you, you like. Really? I heard that you were dating someone on television. I wish I was. Then no, no, I, I, I can tell you it was. If you, if you, really, you really want me to say that? Yeah, sure. Ellen DeGeneres. Really? Yeah. <laughs> that's uh, that's true. That's true. You know, you know, she recently got married though. So uh, to me. <laughs> really? Look, we're keeping it under wraps. It's a whole big. Yeah. Sort of thing that we're no, I, I, I'm confused. No, yeah, I don't know. Would you? I, I mean, do you, do you have a blog? Do you have a website? Do you have a fan site? I, uh, I have a, I have a MySpace. Do you? Uh, but really? here's, here's why. Here's why. Why? I, so I didn't have a MySpace, and right. then these these 
like 16 year old girls would randomly come up and say, why didn't you message me back the second time? I get that all the time, and it, too. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I figured out there were people pretending to be There's me, hundreds of them. Which on. is weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so thankfully, our parent company on house, uh, Fox, you, you know, the one you spat at earlier. Oh, <laughs> I joke. I'm just kidding. I, I'm joking. I do the same thing. No, no. Fox I do. are lovely. No, they're, I no, know. they're not an evil corporation <laughs> at all. No. <laughs> Uh, but one of the one of the advantages of them acquiring MySpace was that there's somebody you can call to say, "Can you get rid of all the fake people pretending to be me?" I want to be on Fox. Well, do you can still do it. <laughs> yeah, no, they'll, but I, they'll hook you up. No, no, no. I just want to be on. I'm, I've moved on oh, from MySpace. Do. I just right. want to be on I'll, Fox. I'll trade. You should yeah. guest on our on our show. Well, no, when the, I couldn't do that. I couldn't remember all the medical stuff. Do you, is that hard to remember all that? I'm afraid it's an EKG with a big trousers. You know, I, 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 <laughs> how can you? The, the scene that you showed, I have, I have no idea what it means. Right. At all. Are you no, okay? I'm just kidding. We, right. we prepare for the scene, and you, we, we have a bunch of medical dictionaries, and you do research before you go into work. I'm serious. <laughs> you're looking at me like... A, no, I think it's well, you great. Know, you, I so feel like, like if, you, if, someone, like if you were on an airplane or someone, and someone, God forbid, someone fell ill, you would be able to act to them better in some way? I, <laughs> yes. I would pretend. I feel quite reassured, knowing yeah. that if I were to keel over now... Here on this desk, you would... Do you even know first aid, Cal? I do. Really? No. Okay. <laughs> do you know what? I was, I was watching the, uh, the Harold and uh, Kumar go to Guantanamo Bay. Yeah, escape from. <laughs> well, I only saw half of it, so I didn't know that they escaped. <laughs> I, from escape from Guantanamo Bay. And I, uh, in the first scene of that movie, you're in the bathroom. Yeah. I'm I, not, look, I'm not proud of that scene. I'm M glad to hear that. Yeah. Uh, it, it, the most awkward part of that was calling up my mom to say, listen, what you're going to see is maybe a little... No, no, no. What your, your mom has seen, that. Uh, <laughs> That's what she said. Your mom's seen response. you go to the bathroom. Yeah. Come on. She changed her diapers for sure. how long? You know, 15, 16 yeah. years? At least. <laughs> That's good. Are you enjoying the house show? I am. Yeah, yeah. yeah Hugh's on that show, my friend yes. Hugh. He's a very nice man. He is. Yeah. He is. He's, uh, he's a good guy. He's English, you know, did you know? He is. Yeah. Yes. A lot of people don't. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I know. It's yeah. weird. No, I, I, I'm not. No? How do you feel about the English? Oh, I adore them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, apart from the 300 years of colonial oppression, there it they're is. always... <laughs> yeah, my, my grandparents would agree with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, we have to go, but it's lovely to see you again. Come and see us again soon. Yeah, And definitely. good luck on the house. Thank you. And I'm also in uh, Bangkok Dangerous. Are you really? Yeah. I have a tiny, tiny part. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. <laughs> that would be so awesome. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that would be so awesome. I, it I mean, would be, but... Uh, oh, yeah, man. No, no, I was in other bad movies, but not... not you uh, don't, I, not, no, we don't know I'm this movie's bad. We don't know... No, the, no, no. That, not that one. Oh, the other Bangkok <laughs> Dangerous? I, yeah. You know what I mean. Oh, the I remember you the, now. We, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Naughty little monkey. <laughs> it was nice. All right. Cow pan, everybody. We'll be right back. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. Yeah, well, yeah, well, no, it's Friday. Call me on Monday. Yeah. You got it. You got it. Yeah. Uh-huh. <sighs> Gray suit, yellow tie. <laughs> the camouflage ones. <laughs> yeah, it would be pretty difficult to hide, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I don't want to say it now. Talk to you later. All right. Bye-bye. David Letterman. Uh, <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> oh, man, I'm in trouble now. Uh, welcome back, everybody. Uh, the, uh, my next guests are a Nashville trio. They're here performing Till You're Gone from the self-titled album. Uh, please welcome the Gabe Dixon Band, everybody. Gabe Dixon Band. <laughs>
when you told me you were leaving Put me down for a while, yeah No, I couldn't believe it Put a cramp in my shock, yeah You gotta drive my California Said you've been waiting on it for so long But just remember, I'll be here for you Till you're gone Till you're gone We had a good run Never had much to lose, babe I know I had a lot of good fun Yes, but that you've been afraid of too Yes, you did So as long as you're willing Girl, you know that you can't go wrong But just remember I'll be there for you Till you're gone Till you're gone I tell you what I learned on the show tonight, that it, the censor gets really mad if I try and talk to you sitting like this. <laughs> when I'm sitting like this. <laughs> you know, they can't censor, they, they can censor what I say, obviously, but they can't censor what I'm thinking. I think you, and I think you know what I'm thinking. <sighs> I always get like this on Bob Newhart's birthday. <laughs> All right, we gotta go. Good night, everybody. Have a nice weekend.